Hello and welcome to AFL.com.au's daily news wrap for Friday the 10th of August. It's been a massive 24 hours in AFL, starting with last night's decision to fine St Kilda's Stephen Milne $3,000 for the homophobic jibe he directed at Collingwood's Harry O'Brien on Saturday night. Earlier today, St Kilda coach Scott Waters said Milne had to become accountable for the things he said on the field. You have a choice in how you react, regardless of the pressures, and the players are under enormous pressures. Um, but you do still have a choice on, on what you say and, and how you react. So Stephen's choice of, um, of vocab was poor. O'Brien's teammate Dale Thomas said there was still room in the AFL for sledging, but believed Milne had overstepped the mark. I think there's always room for sledging. I think you've got to pick and choose what you're sledging about and who you're sledging to and what about. But you know, there's, there's certainly um, you know, room for some smart comments. But you know, the, down the, the lines of what's happened with Harry and uh, you know, earlier on in the year, there, there's no room for that in the AFL. The Magpies trained on Friday ahead of tomorrow night's clash with the Sydney Swans, which will see Premiership forward Alan Didak play his first game since round 11. You know, he's probably hasn't had a, a great run with injury, so for him to get back, you know, he's been a vital part of our team over the past few years, and hopefully he can give us some excitement come Saturday night. As Carlton prepare to host the Brisbane Lions at Etihad Stadium on Saturday night, assistant coach Alan Richardson fronted the media and was asked more about himself rather than the team. The senior assistant coach was quizzed on his interest in the vacant Port Adelaide role and said while he hadn't thought about it yet, he still had ambitions to become a senior coach. Uh, look, I have given absolutely no thought, to be honest, um, given we've been... Um, uh, I've had some real issues in terms of our own team and, and my focus is absolutely there for, to the end of the year and then and then see what happens from there. But certainly, um, no, it's all about Carlton and the role that I play here. If the right opportunity presented itself, um, I'm, I'm in that situation where I can't be too choosy, obviously. But, yeah, as I said, it's all about Carlton and, um, and making sure that we finish off on a really positive note and hopefully that means we play in September. Meanwhile, Brisbane Lions coach Michael Voss is still marvelling at the way the Blues thrashed his side back in round two and will not disrespect them tomorrow night despite the Blues fall to 11th on the ladder. I still maintain that despite what's actually happened to them across the whole year that they've actually been the best side we've played the whole year. Um, so they're sort of aggressive running. We know, you know, if anything, we've got their brutal best. Um, so we should be completely understanding and respectful of the capabilities of what Carlton can actually do. Richmond coach Damien Hardwick credits captain Chris Newman and his leadership group for maintaining the spirit of the players, given their slim chance of making the finals. Hardwick said Newman and his group have taken recent training sessions in a bid to boost morale. Look, mathematically we're still a chance, very small chance as it may be, but look, credit to the, the guys, you know, it is quite easy to drop away when you sort of realise some, some hope has been extinguished, but you know, Chris Newman, leadership group, you know, really took it upon themselves to, to drive that last week and we got a pleasing performance. And there have been some late changes to teams for round 20 with Paul Chapman a scratching for Geelong's clash with West Coast tonight, Kurt Tippett withdrawn from the Adelaide side set to face Fremantle at Amy Stadium tomorrow and James Frawley is out of Melbourne's lineup to clash with St Kilda at the MCG also tomorrow. And that's what's making news today on afl.com.au. Make sure you keep clicking back to the website across the weekend for all the news from the Round 20 action, starting with tonight's clash between West Coast and Geelong at Patterson Stadium. Thanks very much for watching and have a great weekend.